Hi, this is Nick on the 29th of May with a, a new week or a new theme for this week. The theme for this week is the idea of unifying our work, our love and money. Now, they seem like three big things to want to unify. And, and many people don't, actually don't want to unify them. They're happy to do something for their work and they're happy to earn money doing something and then they have loves in the rest of their life. They're not necessarily that interested in unifying all of those things. And some of us are, you know, for me it's been a, um, a, a journey or a longing, I guess, over the last uh, few decades for me to bring those things together, you know, and it's almost felt like it's an impossible dream to do that, you know, that I could do something or we could do something that we love doing and is to some extent an expression of our love in the world and get paid for it. It seems like it should be so simple and so easy, and it's like, well, why, you know, why aren't we taught at school that this is what can happen? But, but generally, we're not brought up to believe that we can unify our work and our love and our money. And yet, I guess for me, it's been a quest to kind of bring all of myself together. You know, I don't want to separate off how I earn a living from um, what I love doing. I, I've wanted to bring those three things together and um, as, uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, and for me, it's been a, you know, a three decade journey so far, and I have brought them together more than ever. Um, but I realize what underlies this uh, for so many of us is the, is the kind of belief that it's just, uh, firstly, that many people believe it's just not possible. You know, they've never met people that do what they love and earn great money out of it. Uh, and so it's not even a possibility for a lot of people. It's not even in their consciousness that it's possible to, to bring these things together. Secondly, I think what underlies this for many of us is just somehow, you know, somewhere in history we, we created a disconnect from, if you like, our soul from our livelihood. Um, that, again, you know, we're not trained to think that our livelihood could and even should be an expression of our soul and the essence of who we are. I remember years ago reading a quote for the first time from uh, Khalil Gibran, who you may have heard of, who wrote a book called The Prophet. And his line was, your work is your love made visible. And the first time I heard those words, I went, wow, your work is your love made visible. How does that work? <laughs> you know, I could, to me, it was just a brand new idea. And I just thought, you know, what a lovely idea, but it's so far removed from my, my current reality, you know, when I was growing up. Um, but in a way it struck something very deep in me that I wanted somehow to, to, to do that for myself as best I could and, and, and lead the way and teach other people how to do that for themselves as best I could. So there's that. And also I believe, thirdly, that there's a, a kind of belief that many of us have grown up with, which is you can't have it all. You've got to sacrifice. You know, either you can't, or even to some extent, you know, we can have even kind of programming. Sometimes it's religious programming that says, well, actually, you shouldn't. You know, you shouldn't have it too good. You know, you must sacrifice. You know, that life is about sacrifice and struggling and suffering. And that's what makes us noble human beings. And somehow, you know, we're going to be rewarded for our sacrifice and our struggle. So... You know, I think I, you know, I'm, I'm a believer that we needn't sacrifice because what I certainly grew up believing, um, you know, the first half of my life was playing out the belief to some extent that I had to sacrifice. So what I did in the first half of my life was sacrifice the love for the money. So I was in a corporate career, where, which I enjoyed a bit, but it wasn't certainly wasn't my calling. But I earned good money out of it, you know. Um, but it didn't satisfy me. And then, you know, the next chapter of my life was to, to leave the corporate world and start my own business. But then the second half of that belief acted out, which was, well, I can do what I love, but I'll sacrifice the money. So I did what I love, but I didn't earn much money out of it. And then there's been the third phase of my life, which is the one that I'm living out now, which is, you know, that I can do what I love and I can earn good money from it. Um, so I'm going to carry on this theme this week. I don't want to go too far into it in just one little broadcast because I'm going to be touching on this over the next uh, week. I'm going to share little thoughts on it each day. But just I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. You know, did anyone ever tell you you could do what you love, um, have your work be an expression of your love and earn good money? Most of us never got that message. You know, we think it's possible for a few people. We don't think it's possible for most of us. You know, we look at a few artists or musicians or particularly gifted people and go, yeah, 
it's it's possible for them, but for the most of us, it's simply not possible. And my belief is it it's today it's never been more possible for for all of us if we know how to discover what it is that we love to do and become entrepreneurial around doing it, that we can earn our living unifying our work and our love and be well paid for it. So that's what I'm going to be looking at for the whole of this week. I hope that's of interest to you. Thank you so much for watching this and uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts. God bless. Have a good day.